The fat feline behind this now viral video is a Washington native. Veterinarians in Bellingham posted the video of the cat on a treadmill. And Cairo 7 North Sound reporter Joanna Small went to Bellingham to meet Cinderblock. Just like for people, North Shore Veterinary Hospital in Bellingham has a special underwater treadmill to help lighten the load for patients recovering from surgery. But one very special patient's time on the treadmill blew up the internet. Starting an exercise routine is hard. Those first few trips on the tread will probably include a lot of complaining. And likely a less than 100% effort, but with a little coaxing and encouragement. It gets easier. She is. Oh, she is. She's a good girl. Who is now a bona fide celebrity and veterinarian Brita Kifney has inadvertently become a tabby talent agent for first name Cinder, last name Block. The rotund, if you will, cat surrendered to the clinic after her owner was unable to take care of her. Her videos have gone viral, but Kifney says her recovery is being taken very seriously. She's 40% overweight. We are shooting for 5% body weight a month. She's in the danger zone, and while Cinder is the extreme, 60% of cats in North America are overweight or obese. The normal cat in people's mind is an overweight cat. A little easier to see how she got herself where she is. Vet tech Jason Collins is helping Cinder work off the pounds. When she's not on the tread, she's doing mobility exercise. Food is an excellent motivator. I think it's just she will eat anything you put in front of her. She's already dropped 0.3 pounds. The hope is within the next six to eight months, Cinderblock will be able to drop the block. Ever since Cinder's treadmill video went viral about a week ago, North Shore Veterinary Hospital has been inundated with phone calls from people who like to adopt her, but not so fast. Come here, baby. Ugh, okay. All 21.5 pounds of her is already spoken for. Someone at the clinic is going to take her home once she loses enough weight. In Bellingham, Joanna Small, Cairo 7 News.